Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I don't care. Don't care. So what is that get? He should be pulling up in like 15 minutes. Or maybe before though. We're gonna start because Casey won't be here until 12. Okay. So we'll go uh, start around 12, awesome. and then uh, Jesse's gonna start off first. Cool. And then we'll just go with a testimony from there. Okay. Is uh is it is that brother gonna preach? Nah, he might give a testimony. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what I'm bringing in July 27th? Me. Yeah. Oh. I'm mm, glad I saw all that water! That's kind of fishing, man! Y'all don't like fishing? Yeah, I'm fishing. Yeah, I don't see you yet. How you doing today, brother? Good, good, man. You blessed? Yes, sir. We all blessed, man. It's this just gonna be a good day. Yeah, we're here yeah. for God, and we're gonna hear everybody's testimonies, and we're gonna see what God's gonna do today. Yeah. See who we can save. Got some testimonies coming up, huh? Yes, sir. Awesome. Mr. Wilson, Yo. what you got to say to him today? Man, Jesus. Where we at? Martin, Tennessee. What, what's happening today? Jesus. Deliverance. Praise God forever, man. Amen to that. Amen. Praise the Lord forever. Each one reach one. The Rock Ministry. Martin, Tennessee. Sanctified Music Group. Amen. Upper Room Believers Network. Upper Room, man. That's what's happening. There's my brother. My brother. Love you, man of God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for my brother. Trudy, what's going what's on? What's up, Prophet? All right, all right. My Man, I'm snotty. I'm praising the Lord. I'm glad to be here. I know that God is going to make a way out of no way. He's going to open deaf ears. He's going to allow the blind to see. Mike, what you got to say, Mike? Thank you, God, forever. Praise the Lord forever. Wow. Hey. I'm going to witness a move of God. Yeah, yes. <laughs> the true move of God. The truth. Yes. The truth. Yes. Yes. Stand on the truth. And that's the word of God. Amen. And that's what's about to be experienced Amen. today. Yes, the true move of God. The true move. Not none of that religion. The true yeah. move true of God. God. Yes, that's what you're going to experience today. Come on. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Woo. Golly. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Man, we have some amazing men and women of God here today. Amen. So, uh, man, I was back there and I was I was talking to my brothers and sisters and we're kind of going over something and, and uh, God laid something on my heart. 
And so do we. Can I pick on you, bro? Come here real quick. Hey, you know what you're doing? I'm going to get the rest of my brothers and sisters from the Each One Reach One Tour out here. And so I'm just going to make this real short, real sweet. Amy had messaged me about her brother Dewey. And like me, he had been down the same path that I've been down in life, right? In and out of prison and drugs. And uh, man, we spoke on the phone. He lives in Fort Wayne, Arkansas. And, or not Fort Wayne, I thought I said Fort Wayne. Hot Springs, Arkansas. And, uh, He's on parole, on parole. And I don't know if any of y'all know, but I, I wasn't dumb, so I, I knew when I got out that I was gonna do the same thing, right? So I said, they said, you want parole? I said, no, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it all down. Cause I know I'm not fixing to come back. I wanna be free. But when you're on parole, because when I got out of the feds, I had to go to a halfway house for a little bit of time, right? And so to get a pass to be able to leave, it takes some time. So he told me he was going to ask his parole officer, this was Wednesday night, right? If he could come to this event. And so I texted him Thursday morning and I said, hey bro, I'm praying for favor with the parole officer today. And I get a text message back and it's a pass. Not only did he get a pass to come from Arkansas to Tennessee, but he got a three day pass, right? He came last night and he has to leave tomorrow. And so, man, I just think that it's truly amazing how God is working and setting things before us before we ever got started. Amen. So I'm here to tell you today, without a shadow of a doubt, that the presence of God is here and he's ready and willing to change and work in your life. So do it. I don't know you, bro, but I look forward to getting to know you. I look forward to watching you grow in Christ. I look forward to pouring into you. And I hope I can speak for every man and woman on this stage today that they feel the same way. Amen. So we all signed this Bible. We all highlighted verses in this Bible. This comes from our boxing club. And uh, you gotta, we're not going to tell you where the verses are. You got to read and find them, all right? I'm going to hold you accountable. But man, I, I know that what you have told me about a jailhouse religion, and that's not what you want. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Amen. Amen. So we want to pray over that Bible. We want to pray over you that, man, from here on out, that God just sparks a fire inside of you that burns hotter than ever. I want to see fire burn inside of you that's hotter than the flames of heaven. Because, man, you have a calling on your life. So everybody that Jesus hung out with you, I see it. And everybody here on the stage, I'm going to tell you, there's somebody going to disagree, but even all the way to Calvary, Jesus tripped and fell carrying his cross. And eventually, a brother had to help him carry it, right? That right, Josh? Thanks, man. Hey, if you don't mind, I just, I want to applaud you. I want to applaud you for being the type of preaching service in Nashville about being the type of friends that tear the roof off to get our friends in the presence of God. Because sometimes we have obstacles that prevent us from getting there. And you did that very thing. And I believe truly, by the prayers of the righteous, he's been saved this whole time. Because of you and your faithfulness to God. Amen. So we want to pray over both of you. Where's Miss Arlena at? God, we just come before you right now, full of Lord, just praise. Praise, Father God, for everything that you're doing in this place, God. Praise for everything that you're doing in every son and daughter, God, Lord, in this place, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that we can look back on our lives, Father God, and see everything that you have brought us through, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that we may still smell like smoke, but God, we are covered by the blood of Jesus, God. We thank you, Father God, that you have saved us, Lord, and set us free, God. I thank you, Lord, for every testimony in this place, God, Lord. Today we celebrate duty, Father God, but we know, Lord, that you celebrate every person in this place, God. God, Lord, as your children, God, Lord. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that you are not done with us yet, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that it's just the beginning, Lord, of what you're doing in every person's life there, God. We just pray for doing right now, Lord. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that it was your hand, Lord, that was leading him and guiding him, Lord, and for the divine placement, Father God, that you have placed him in this place, Lord. 
Father God, Lord, to put him, Lord, in the path, Lord, of Jared, Father God, Lord, through his sister, God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, that we can see ourselves right, Lord, in your eyes, God. That, Lord, you never leave us, nor forsake us, God. That you don't overlook us, God. But you're with us every step of the way, Lord. Lord, it don't matter the title, Lord, that anybody has on earth, God. It only matters, Lord, that we have Jesus Christ in our hearts, God. We thank you that we know our worth today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we are bought, Lord, by the blood, the precious blood of Jesus Christ, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that it's only through Jesus that we would inherit salvation, God. So I just pray right now, Lord, what do we, God? If there's anything in his mind, Lord, anything attached to him, Father God, that's not of you, Lord, that you would break it and take it right now in the name of Jesus, God. I pray for a hopeless one to follow the Lord, God. I pray for an identity as a son of the most high to follow him right now, God. I pray for the blood of Jesus to wash over him, Father God, and set him free, God. I pray, Lord, that in his eyes, Father God, that he knows, Lord, that he is yours, God. I pray, Lord, that he sees himself rightly, Lord, in your eyes, God. We love you, Lord, and we praise you, God. And I pray for the Holy Spirit to fall upon him, Lord. Like the fire that it is, God, Lord. Fall upon him, Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord, burn off anything that's not of you, Lord, and fill him, Lord, full of you, God. Fill him full of his identity in you, Father God, and let him know that his best days start today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. She disappears. No fear. Don't hate me, man. And I, I, it's something I normally don't do. But I want you to know, as brothers in Christ, bro, like we're here to hold you accountable. They hold me accountable. When I'm wrong, when I'm struggling, I have people to call upon. And so, like, you have that same thing, bro. I don't know you, but I love you. Baby, baby. But I'm here for you. So, this is where we'll get this popping. But can I borrow you two as well? Yeah, y'all too. So this is Dewey's wife. And this is his son, Eli. We're gonna have, I wanna pray for y'all as a family. I'm gonna pray for you as a husband, you as a mother, and you as a son. The Bible says raise a child in the way they should go when they get older, it will not depart from you. So man, you have the you have the obligation to lead him to Christ. Yeah. To lead your family spiritually. Yeah. The Bible says that a husband should love his wife the way that Christ loved the church. Yeah. How did Christ love the church? He laid his life down for the church. He yeah. died for the church. Yeah. So we have to be willing to sacrifice ourselves for our family. Yeah. Ambassador, you want to come pray, my brother? Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you right now to say thank you. Thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do, Father God. Father, we want to thank you for your grace and mercy that endures forever, Father God. We want to thank you for the opportunity for my brother and his family, Father God, for a new life, Father God. And it's only in Christ Jesus, Father God. We thank you for the word. We thank you for the good news of Jesus Christ, Father God. We thank you for your deliverance, Father God. And we thank you for your connection, Father God. We thank you for allowing us to connect right now, Father God, with this family, to connect with you, Father God. It's all about each one reach one, Father God, because there's power in the name of Jesus, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We honor you right now, Father God, and we ask you to continue to be with this young man, his wife, and his son, Father God. We thank you for allowing them to unite today, Father God, and we praise you. We give you all the honor and glory, Father God, right now. And thank you for deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, I'll tell you what, if they don't get you fired up for what Jesus is going to do here today, this is how revival starts and some praise and worship. Come on up here, bro. Spotlight's on you now. <laughs> I want y'all to say freezes, okay? You ready? Jesus! 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 God is good! All the time! All the time! God is good! Amen! Y'all ready to praise the Lord? Cause you're working in all the
with the prince. Yeah. This revival, a holy ground. The enemy has no dominion, no authority here today. And I just urge anybody, man, this is completely out of order. But we can't stop what the Holy Spirit is doing. And the Holy Spirit is moving in a massive way. the God. But in order to cast something, there has to be a release, right? So whatever you're holding on to in your life that's keeping you bound up by the pits of hell, lay it at the feet of the Father. We are made victorious through the cross of what Jesus Christ did with us, and I'm going to get into my sermon here in a second. But I just want to encourage you. Don't leave here the same way that you came here. Because I know that God has something miraculous that He wants to do in your life. I didn't want to stop Jesse from singing because God, I'll tell you, I'll sit up here and cry say what you want about me, I don't care. Because outside of me and God, everything else is irrelevant. But if you can sit in this audience and not see a breakthrough happening, then I need an angel to come up here and preach about Barnabas. So look for your breakthrough, pray for your breakthrough, and let me tell you again, please, don't leave here the way that you came. You don't have to. From my brain, travels down, every edge of my body, I just want to feel free. I tie you to God when I'm around, you don't ever got to feel out of place. Even if I got be the one to fill the roll of space, no matter. Get back in the race So sometimes I to me I'll do whatever Get the brass, Lord, I grace But yes, I've had it in times that a week Oh, oh, so bleak Situationally This midnight heart And breaks, cries, fire Must admit I'm tired With the feeling this fight Can we make a deal? I'll tell you if I pray for you Just maybe, maybe, then maybe From my brain Travels down Every inch of my heart I just want to feel free A child of God My mind's in a while Hide like a frog All my stress From my brain Travels down Every inch of my heart I just want to feel free A child you got this, you got this, that's how I sex, that's how I sex, and don't quit song. Please tell me to do it right here. Please tell me to so do it right here.
Yeah. Yeah. A little chill out there because it's time to, time to chill, so that sounds cool. This one right here is flowers, so let's just get some flowers. Let's go. Come on. Yo. I'm too, I'm too. on you. Look, we hold ourselves back from the fullness, man. If you've got unrepentant sin in your life, repent of that today, man. Feel the presence of God fall in your life. Again, you hold you back. Satan has no dominion over our lives. Jesus set us free. Jesus set you free. Jesus set you free. Jesus set you free. Come out. Jesus set you free. He set you free. He set you free. You can get the fullness of God right now, right where you're at. Accept that. Because he wants you to have that. He's, he come for you. You showed up today. You, I don't know why I connected to your eyes. But I did. Do not leave this place without getting what you're looking for from the Lord. I don't know. No, it's you. I had a little bit of it. It's you. You get the fullness of God. You get the fullness of God. He's got it for you. All you've got to do is step out. His faith, walk in his faithfulness because it's his faith, it's his faith that you lean on. I know, I feel you. We hold, we hold ourselves back. We do. The moment that we sit, ask God to say, Hey man, put me back here, God, you start driving my life, He'll blow your mind. He will blow your mind. He 
will blow your mind, my brother. It ain't going to be easy, my brother. All these people on TV paint it like it's a peaches and cream and a bed of rope. No, bro. The cross wasn't beautiful, yet it was beautiful. It's not going to be easy. However, there's hope in Jesus because he don't pain. So on the bad days, man, God told me, he said, on those bad days, lean on me like you do in them good days. My mom told me, my mom told me last night, she's told me so many times. My mom told me, she said, every time that you see, see yourself falling backwards, and every time that you see yourself not moving forward, always remember that place where you had that encounter with Jesus. If it was yesterday, if it was last week, if it was last year, when that mighty miracle took place, go back to that. You, you can go back to that. But see, that miracle can happen for you today. Do not leave this place without receiving what you came for. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because Satan don't want you to have the fullness of God, man. I laid around and wallowed in depression for months. That crying out song. Man, I wish I could have said praising the Lord through them months. I went through a lot of hell. Why? It was on me. It wasn't the devil. I, mean, I gave the devil the ammunition. Dude sat back and laughed at me. The whole time I was wallowing in my mess of depression because I was not where I thought that I should be. But God says His ways are higher than our ways. His path for us may not be the path that we imagine. Y'all, it took me months to get out of that. If you don't believe me, I got witnesses. My own household right there. I put my... Uh, we put our... Come on, come on. Look here. If you don't think that the things that you are doing are not affecting those around you, you are being lied to and deceived right now. You know, as the Spirit of God overflows of joy... Guess what? All that negativity overflows into our loved ones too. Throw a rock into a, thing, a, 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 a body of water. What does it do? Does the, does the rock splash the water and it just goes boom and not move? No, it expands. I speak, I speak strength in you, sister, right now in the name of Jesus. I see you yawning. Father, increase her strength, Father God. 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 In the name of Jesus. For His name is powerful. The dark days, brother, stand on that name. Because that might be the only man. Stand on that name. It ain't no might be. It is the only thing we are to stand on, brother. God's going to blow your mind. Sis, God's going to blow your mind. Young man, God's going to blow your mind. Hallelujah. My prayer for y'all is God will be the center of your faith. Amen. Because it ain't y'all two raising that one. It's God. Amen. God is raising this family. Hallelujah. Here's that. I'm going to keep preaching. Here she come. But, you know, when you get to a certain point and you've been able to do it more Christ-like, as uh, as we mentioned most of the time before, not yourself, but for him. Don't ask uh, to make the situation better, but ask how you can handle the situation better. Replace my life. I'm not afraid of death or the lie. Or make it tell the rock is yeah. Or will I? Yeah. Or make it tell the rock is yeah. But will I make it right? And I was getting on the side of the beat and I was sky. Yeah, I look up to the sky and brings a tear to my eyes. No one ever gets a second life. Oh, yes, when it's over, it just like a night. Oh, I just want to say that. Exactly what I said, it all okay. It's not just about these words today Because it's not the proper words that I just said To describe how I'm feeling today To describe how I'm feeling today I'm gonna make it so the rock is in the guy in the glare Will I sit back and step? Will I say I didn't care? No, I put in my 
shed. No reason to compare, no damage to repair. My love was right there. Well, I always kept the trouble, but not right there. Or will I? Or make it turn all the rock and shit? Or will I? Yeah, get right back to it. Uh, let, let, let me say this, like the music means nothing. It's just a, a tool that God gave these men and women to be out of reach to people, right? What matters is salvation, to see the kingdom of heaven furthered, and to see breakthrough happen. See, the enemy wants to bind you up in something and keep you there. Because if he can keep you there, then he can keep you out of the calling that God has on your life. God, God going to turn around and just change my whole sermon like that. And I'm here to tell you that I can speak for everybody here that your breakthrough means more to us than anything else that's going to happen here today. So my brother told me that somebody wants to receive breakthrough. So come on up here, bro. We're gonna come against every demonic attack of the enemy that is plaguing his life. Come on, brother. I wanna let you know, Michael, that we kinda know each other. I struggled with the same thing in my life for a long time. <laughs> Father, thank you. Be forgiven as far as the east is to the west, Lord. Lord, we come against the spirit of rejection, Father God. We come against the spirit of lust, Father God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask that from this day forward that he only looks to your approval, Father God. That he only looks at other people as you look at us, Father God. As sons and daughters of the Most High God. Yes, 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 yes. But I ask right now that you just take me and fill it with your holy presence, Lord, your holy spirit, Lord. Let this cup overrun me, Father God. So we ask this. Thank you, sir. The Holy Spirit is just begin to work inside his life. So we know that he is with you. I want everybody to remember this, sir. Second Corinthians 2 11. I read it in NLT. Because it lines up with every other version. It says, So that Satan will not outsmart us. For we are familiar with his evil schemes. Yeah. Every person that leaves today, our brother do it again. Yeah. How many years did you just stay in prison, brother? How old is your son? Nine and a half years he was away from his son. Nine and a half years he was away from his wife. Yeah. So the greatest thing today that we can pray for you guys as we pull this off the car. When you know that it's the devil's voice, that you want to make the decision and the choice to know that ain't nothing good gonna come from giving in to him. Everything we've been through, it stops today. Everything our family's been through, it stops today. You guys are mighty men and women of God. And just know one thing, y'all. Just know one thing. No matter what you're going through in life, no matter what decision you make or what choice you choose, just remember one thing. It's going to work out for your good. It's going to work out for your good. No matter how bad it seems, how dark it may be, or how low you may be, it's going to work out for your good. Trent. No matter what, because that's Trent. what the word said. It's Trent. not my word, that's his word. Trent. You ready, buddy? Trent. There you go. Do a crying out first. Hey, 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 everybody. How y'all doing? 
brother that was just up here, um, right there. This that that ties in this this song that I'm about to sing. Literally, I mean, you said it. I don't even have to tell it. Like, this song is called "Crying Out." Me and Joshua wrote it together, and there's so there's so much intertwined with this song of how it came to be, and it's 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 to help people if you're going through self and you don't know your walk in Christ. This song helped me, and I know it can help you if you're going through it. If you, if you don't need it, it's for the next person. But it's called Crying Out. And I'm just thankful to be here, to be a blessing with my voice for you all. So let's go.
we come to you right now thanking you for delivering us. We thank you, Father, that no matter what the drugs is, no matter what the alcohol is, we know that it's the name above all names. And that name is Jesus. We thank you for delivering us, Father. We love you. We praise you. Can you turn it up just a little bit, please? I say that to say this, y'all. Let's get it, y'all. Let me hear you say it. Come on, y'all. There we go. Come on, y'all. We do this for Christ. I want to hear you say his name. He got many names. You can call anyone else. Let me hear you say his name, Lord. Let me hear you say his name, Lord. Let me hear you say his name. Let me hear you say his name. Let me hear you say his name. Let me hear you say his name.
Lord, your word tells us if we confess our sins to our brothers, to our sisters, we will be healed. God, you know every heart right here, God. You know every struggle, every temptation, every lie, every blindness of the enemy. Lord, we break that right now in the name of Jesus. We break it, God. We step on the enemy right now. We tell him to flee in the name of Jesus. Your word tells us you will always provide an exit, God. And Lord, we will choose that exit for the rest of our days, God. We know that the enemy will not stop trying, but we will not give in to him. He does not have our yes. You do. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over every man right here, God. Lord, your word says that we are not ignorant to the schemes of the devil. We are not ignorant. Lord, that you will turn up the Holy Spirit and the spirit of discernment and making decisions. And Lord, that you will give us a fear, a fear to realize that that next choice may be our last choice. Hey, don't let your enemy lie to you this morning, this evening, this afternoon, this night, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. You know that you are loved. Loved. I want you to know something. For God so loved the world. When you accepted Jesus, you received the fullness of every bit of love that God had. For God, catch that revelation. Catch that revelation, Brother Tony. Brother Tony, catch that revelation. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. The fullness of God's love was poured out when he told Jesus, go! Anybody out there that needs salvation? Anybody out there that feels like they need more prayer? Anybody out there that wants to come up on stage and get hands laid on? Come on up here. Come on up here. Today is the day. Today is the day. Hallelujah. Today is the day. And we continue to minister as we continue to minister. As our brothers gather around. As our brother gather around here. Hallelujah. We'll pray. My brother Jared, pray. Hallelujah. Pastor Jared, hallelujah. My brother, if you've already prayed, and you feel that there's somebody beside you that needs prayer, if that's your sister, if that's your brother, pray for them. Pray for them. Prophesy over their life. Speak into them the identity of Christ. Come against the lies of the enemy. I need to tell you today that the enemy, the enemy is not afraid to go and try to rob somebody. So we must not be afraid to go and save somebody.
I just want to continue to see the ones that need the breakthrough. Get their breakthrough. Yes, Lord. If we spend the next six hours at the altar, giving it to the Father, not an artist here, and not myself, and no one else is going to tear you to touch this microphone. Because it's about seeing y'all set free. So don't let the enemy lie to you and keep you seated in your seat. If you're holding on to something like Michael, who he was holding on to something, he got up and brought it and let it speak. So we're going to continue doing what we're doing, ministering, worshiping. I know God's had a heavy message on my heart and I'm going to deliver it. You might hurt something, you might even hurt my own. You know the Bible says that you may be beautiful and be and wonderful in His image. Jesus, so 
myself because I truly believed that knowledge was power but I came to find out two and a half years later when I got out of prison and that wasn't true because how many people know what to do but don't have the power to do it right. so just knowing is not enough yep. you have to have the ability to apply what you know so the power is found in our application even the Bible says be doers of the word and not hearers only so you can hear and not do it and end up being deceived so once you hear, you actually have to do. So application is really the power. Do we have it in us enough to actually follow a God we say we believe in? I say I believe, but I always run to my strategies, my plans, my thoughts, how I'm going to fix this situation, what I got to do about the situation, instead of stopping, pausing, saying, you know what, I can't do nothing. I got myself in the situation, so I need something outside of myself to get me out of that situation. So I called on God. So look, like I said, two and a half years. I got out five months later. Went right back. This time I was facing a life sentence. So uh, what I'm gonna do up here, really, music, when it comes to music for me, is really just my testimony. It's my journal. So I'm just gonna talk to you out of my journal. I'm gonna speak to you and talk to you out of my journal. So uh, I remember one time, I had some dust on my knees, and it wasn't some true dice. See, I was hollering at the father trying to get my heart right. Alone in a cell on a real late night. See, I was sitting in the hole for getting caught with a knife. I was stressing, wide awake every night. See, I could take the eight off the trial and fight. I told the lawyer, let's see boots, because we in for a fight, because my relatives said he's not going to let me get life. But I was still stressed out, because I had the two strikes. I was praying hard, asking God to go light. I told him if he came through, I would give him my life. But then again, I know I had to pay some type of price. See, you reap what you sow, and I wasn't sowing right. In the middle of the day and night, I've been bottles getting high. Under the steps, shooting dice in a spot, cooking flight. Plus, the glass on the bike, cheating on my wife. For all of that, I deserve to get life. See, I was head bound. The devil had all rights to have me slain in Egypt for the rest of my life. No lie. In that cell, I cried. See, I was in the cell once again. But that time it was different. The judge could have hit me with a three-strike conviction. See, I was waiting on the chain because I had a court appearance. With the Bible opened up, I see myself in it. Reflecting on the truth, and he asked for forgiveness, praying, God, please, don't let them say I'm finished. Inside, I heard a voice say, he called me, stop tripping. If you get it all on me, I promise this is not your ending. My cheeks got wet, the tears started dripping. Then my spirit got hit by the same way I've been feeling. My soul was restored and my spirit was replenished. And everything in life I did wrong was forgiven. So it really be true. I must have been tripping. Because that day, the lawyer said, everything is different. The ready put you at the scene, so now he's a witness. 13 years, that's the new deal they give I'm like, what happened to the eight a couple weeks ago they mentioned? He tried to revive, but I really couldn't listen. I really had faith that God was going to fix it. If it wasn't for the chains, I probably would have been to listen. Looking at the lawyer like, man, you better fix it. He looked me in my eyes and said, there ain't no way to fix this. So under my breath, I said, God, please fix this. At the end of the day, I got a nine-year sentence. And say that I'm blessed because life I didn't get. So I guess in the end, God did fix it. See, I deserve to get life, but by his grace, I didn't. Yeah. So it's really by the grace of God that I'm here. And what put me in that situation 
was this thing called deception. See, what deception does is you find yourself believing that something is true with all of your heart, but in reality, it's not even true. So you pursue it, you chase it, you follow it, you try to move with it, but it's all false. It ain't even true. And so I was caught in that game life, in that street life, and you know, selling dope, using dope, popping pills, smoking weed, you know, running around with all these different women. And I thought that that was the life. The more evil I got, my homeboys in the hood, they would pat me on my back. So I started getting pride when it came to being evil. I was deceived to really believe that what I was doing was okay and really it wasn't. So I'm gonna give you this song and it's called Deceive. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's okay. Hey, one thing that I've learned is that the root of all issues and problems you're fine. Yeah. The reason why is because self is full of pride, plus it's corrupted by the flesh. And what the flesh does is it makes wrong feel right, and evil feel good. And when, so when how you feel, feel opposed to the truth, that's when pride gets in you believe the lies. I was taught that happiness was found in self indulgence. Banging that glass so my neighbor didn't know it. Selling dope and rocking people because money was my voice and through my fleshly desires, I was used and exploited in the darkness of my skin. Too blind to even notice that the tactic being used was ruining even self emotion because with only self I couldn't see I was broken. Deceived by the false truths that this world was promoting. Tangled in pride. So my heart was reluctant to see my need for change because pride was the substance. So every time I see my wrong, my flesh would stay as nothing. But I found the truth in prison. Every day I had it open. That's how the spirit brought him love with the world. I thought the devil was my friend. Blinded by the seat, that's the proof of Satan's dream. Truth be told, I was sold out to the streets. And through it all, the king of kings and all. Hey. Amen. Amen. 